All right, good afternoon, everybody. It's Jay again, and I know you like to see other people's properties, not just my own. And I tell you what, this is one of the best properties that I've seen here in Phoenix, and this happens to be in Glendale, Arizona. I'm at a client's house, and I kind of wanted to go over some of these, the trees and the way that he has this planted and set up, because I think we all can agree that this is a beautiful backyard, and it's sculpted well, and it's going to provide a lot of fruit while not being exactly the jungle or the food forest that I have. This is going to be a little bit of a different. This is going to be kind of peripheral style, but I'll show you guys as we kind of walk through here how this opens up into the full yard, and it's absolutely beautiful. And I would be willing to agree that this is kind of one of those uh, husband and wife deals, and I think if you're a husband and you're trying to get your wife on board or your wife and you're trying to get your husband on board, I think something like this might do it because this is, like I said, absolutely sculptural. This is going to be in a, you know, an HOA backyard, kind of a normal, normal neighborhood here. And the way he has this laid out is absolutely amazing. Not to mention that he's got just a wall of green back here so we're going to kind of start over on this side this is just through the back gate and i'll kind of go over some of the plants with you here and they look spectacular guys i'm telling you they're absolutely big and beautiful and lush look at this thing so the, we're going to kind of go through these trees i'm going to walk around real quick and we'll start here with this pomegranate and the next couple trees here are going to be apple trees and man, these things are just absolutely loaded full of fruit. Just big, big, beautiful apple trees. Hopefully this will focus. I'm out here at an odd time of the day, so it's hard to get the lighting perfect. But man, I tell you what, guys, these apples are no joke. And they are beautiful, and they were planted right next to a wall. Okay, so here's the wall, guys. Here's the wall. You can see all these trees are planted right next to it in exactly the place where you're all being told not to put fruit trees next to the wall. And this is where I put them too because this is obviously the most effective. You've got a wind block and a barrier on one side. So yeah, the fence is right there. The neighbor's yard, neighbor's house is right over the side you see here. So this can be made absolutely beautiful and a beautiful border. Okay, so the next one here is going to be a peach. And we've got a giant apricot next. I'm actually going to step behind the light here. Maybe I can adjust this a little bit better. But look at this, guys, coming in through the back. All these beautiful trees along the side. Look at this beautiful peach. Oh my gosh, just amazing. And the sweet potatoes have just covered the wall. So guys, see, it's, it's possible to be beautiful and productive at the same time. We've got a star cherry here with some fruit on him. Little star cherries and some dragon fruit. Here we've got a star fruit, a carambola. Look how this opens up, guys. This is absolutely stunning. This is goals. Over here, we've got some loquats. Just beautiful loquats. Look at all the vines on the walls. Mangoes. These big old tree collards. Man, just layers. Look at the layers. Sweet potatoes, we've got lemongrass, we've got collards, we've got mangoes, we've got a giant strawberry tree. This is a Jamaican cherry. This thing has so much fruit on it, there's hardly any leaves. It's all almost all fruit. But yeah, let me kind of pan around here, guys. Look how awesome this looks. I'm telling you, there's some plants in here that are even hard for me to grow. So look at this, this granadillo, this giant passion fruit. Look at the leaves on this thing, guys. 
amazing reaching for the sun we've got a white sapote look at this guys this is amazing this is how you do it this is a cheat code basically is all these layers guava you've got a nice palm and of course see here we've got a pool so it's possible to do this with a pool nice and clean guys see He's got a good pool guy. <laughs> then as we go back here, guavas, we've got oranges. We've got Indian thornless jujube in the back there. We've got three different kinds of guavas over here. Beautiful guavas. Now we get back in here, it gets a little thicker. Gets a little bit more like my yard. And we've got clementines. We've got a giant moringa. Let me see if I can get back to the side here. Giant moringa. Absolutely beautiful. We've got a fig back here. Citrus. Vines everywhere, guys. Vines everywhere. He's got sweet potatoes. He's got muscadines. He's got grapes. Look at this passion fruit. You've never seen anything like this thing. This is growing up a queen palm. Look at that, guys. Took basically a wasted, worthless tree here, which is these queen palms, and turned it into a beautiful fruiting passion fruit tree look at these leaves my goodness this is nice and you've got a huge fig back here these are very sculptural yards guys see these are very nice yards so it's very possible to put in a food forest even in this situation. So, all right, let's go back here a little bit. Not to mention it's 20 degrees cooler. You've got blackberries piled all along the back, the back corner here, trellised up along the black, the back. Giant Barbados cherry, more citrus. But I'll tell you his saving grace here is mainly these sweet potatoes. You can see they've covered the entire yard, the entire yard, which has dropped the temperatures considerably throughout the system. In fact, he's got bananas growing over there in the full sun. As you can see right here, you're not, that's not happening normally. And I think we all know that, that that's only possible because you've You've cooled the yard down and you've also given the plants a lot of water and food. I mean, this guy feeds these with compost all the time. We've got a mulberry that he planted over here. And a couple more citrus over here. It's just plant on top of plant on top of plant, which obviously works really, really well. But let me see if I can pan back through here again and kind of show you guys how beautiful this is and how much production that you could have. And this is a normal, normal home here, guys. This is a little bit more normal, not like mine where it's pretty much full jungle. But the way he's got this laid out is absolutely stunning. All the way around. Created that food forest around the the periphery of the yard. That is fantastic, guys. And I've been to a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of yards here. I'll tell you, this is one of the best ones because this is one that everybody could have. So now there are no excuses. After seeing him do this, there are no excuses because now you can do it and not have to have the full born food forest that we have all right guys that is it for today i hope you enjoyed this video i always like to go over 
um, other yards if I can so you guys get more of an idea of what you're looking for or what you're after because my yard is obviously only one sampling of that and it's full-blown food forest but a lot of you are married and can't do that and so you got to have it a little bit more sculptural but you see that this fits really well into even a brand new modern modern neighborhood all right guys that's it for today thank you for watching